Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 11.58, Tuesday, February the 13th. And we are here on the event calendar because the time is finally here. Tomorrow on Wednesday, the Lust banner opens. Everyone, oh my goodness, so excited. Everyone has been holding on, saving their summons for weeks in preparation for this. Super, super exciting. So normally this would be a should you summon video, right? Every time there's a special banner, content creators say, hey, should you summon here? Should you summon there? Should you summon it all? Uh, and there's none of that this week because everyone should be summoning this week. There are two phenomenal banners. The only question is when do you summon and how do you summon depending on your specific account. So let's, let's get into that. The number one priority for everyone no matter who you are, no matter how much you have saved, no matter where your account is, number one priority is Lust. This lady here, the lady of the hour, she is a phenomenal champion in her own right. She has a very strong bond skill with Arrogance. Both of their bond skills are very strong. And she is a limited exclusive champion. That means that on her specific banner, you are guaranteed to get her within 250 summons. Not, techni not necessarily guaranteed to get her at 250, but if you have not pulled her prior to that, then on 250 you're guaranteed. But since she has a higher, she has a 10x rate on the banner, when you pull a legendary prior to 250, you have a higher chance of pulling her. So if you do pull her, then that 250 guarantee goes away. But then the 10x rate still continues, so you can try to pull more of her if you're in that position. So number one priority for everyone is Lust. She's great. She's better with Arrogance. She makes Arrogance better. She's exclusive. We don't know when Moonton will bring her back, right? Since she's exclusive, she will not go into the normal pool once this banner is over. So it might be a year. It might be more. We have no idea. Number one priority, Lust. After that, the number two priority if you don't have him, is going to be Silas. Silas Vierna Banner starts on Friday. Silas is far and away the best single target nuker in the game. As busted as Boreas is for AoE content, Silas is that busted for single target content. He is in all of my end game teams. He nukes every boss everywhere. It's disgusting. It's amazing. I love it. If you don't have Silas, Silas is number two priority. Once you have Lust on your account, and once you have Silas on your account, at that point it gets a little tricky and it really becomes dependent on your specific account and what content you are trying to progress, okay? So if you need single target damage, right? Try to pull more Silas copies. If you have an A4 Silas, try to get that A5. If you're missing Vierna, to give Silas his bond skill that makes him do more damage. Try to pull a Vierna on her banner to make Silas stronger. If you have Silas and Vierna, but you're missing Arrogance, and now that you have Lust, try and pull on the Lust Arrogance banner so that you can pull Arrogance because he is also great, amazing jack of all trades, and the bond skills for them both make them both stronger, okay? But think about your specific account. What are you trying to clear? Do you need single target damage? Do you need an AoE mage? Do you need a jack of all trades? Do you have all of them and you just want to get as many lust copies as possible because you don't know when she's going to come back, right? Which one of those scenarios applies to you? The other thing to consider is that lust and arrogance, you can only pull them with blues and diamonds, rare summons and diamonds, okay? Silas and Vierna, you can pull them on divines, on gold summons. So if you're in a position where you're really struggling who to pull for on which banner, maybe try your golds first if you're missing Vierna. If you have Silas, you really want Vierna to complete that bond skill, but you don't have lust or you really want an A1 lust, whatever that case may be, right? Try to pull your golds, your divines on the Silas Vierna banner to try to get that Vierna before you start spending your blues and diamonds on the Silas Vierna banner because lust and arrogance are exclusive to blues and diamonds. Silas and Vierna are not. So consider that when you're making your choice. If you are attempting to analyze your account 
and you don't know what to do, if you can't make a decision, I will help you, okay? I can't answer this question for everyone in a quick five minute video because everyone's account is different and these are all phenomenal champions, okay? But if you're struggling with your specific account to analyze what you need, what would be best for you, let me know. Hit me up in the comments, join the Discord server, post a comment in there. I will gladly help you, uh, help give some advice for your specific account if you want some help, okay? So that's, that's it. Absolutely everyone should be pulling this week. Everyone should be pulling for Lust. If you don't have Silas, everyone should be pulling for Silas. After that, think about your account. If you're struggling, hit me up. Excuse me, sorry about that. If you're struggling, hit me up. I hope you appreciated this video. If you did, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I hope everyone gets exactly what they want. If you're shooting for an A5 uh, Lust, then oh my gosh, I really hope you get her because A5 Lust is so strong. Let me know. If you pulled for an A5 Lust and you got her, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Good luck this weekend. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.